everyone, what is going on? Raven here, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at another creature from the deep ocean. Today we're talking about the six gill shark. Another name for it would be mud shark or cow shark. The six gill shark is a common species of deep water shark. It is also one of the largest sharks that feed on prey other than plankton. This shark gets its name from the fact that it has six gills. Unlike most other sharks, which only have five. It is also known by many other names, like cow shark, mud shark, like I've already mentioned. This primitive species is one of the few surviving members of the Hexenchidae family. It is related to today's dogfish and Greenland shark, although it is much more closely related to species found only in fossils. Some of the six scale sharks' relatives date back over 200 million years ago. The six gill shark has a heavy, powerful body with a round, blunt snout. In fact, it is sometimes referred to as the blunt nosed six gill shark. One of the most distinguishing characteristics is the fact that it only has one dorsal fin, which is located in the back of its body near its tail. Most other sharks have a pronounced dorsal fin on their backs near the center of their bodies. The six gill ranges in color from tan, brown, to gray, or even black. It has small, fluorescent green eyes with a black pupil. This large shark species can grow to a length of up to 18 feet or 5.4 meters. The females are generally larger than the males. Although six gill sharks are usually slow and sluggish, their body structure allows them to attain high bursts of speed when chasing and catching their prey. They are carnivorous predators, feeding mostly on cephalopods, crustaceans, fish, rays, and some marine mammals. These sharks spend most of their time in deep water during the day. At night, they undertake vertical migrations up to shallower waters to feed. During this time, it is not uncommon for them to come in contact with divers, but they are not usually dangerous to humans unless they have been provoked. Due to the solitary lifestyle of the six scale shark, very little is known about their reproductive behavior. Many biologists believe that they mate seasonally, moving to shallower waters between May and November to mate. Six gill sharks are oviviparous, meaning that the eggs are carried within the mother's body until they hatch. After hatching, still within the mother's body, the young have been known to eat any unfertilized eggs and even each other. These young sharks, known as pups, are a little m more than two feet in length, or about 70 centimeters, when they are born. The color of the pups is lighter than that of the adults, allowing them a certain amount of camouflage to help hide from predators. There are between 22 and 108 pups born at any given time. Because of these large numbers, it is thought that there is an extremely high mortality rate among the pups, and not many survive to maturity. To those that do survive, are believed to live about 80 years in the wild. Six gill sharks have the widest distribution of all sharks, except for the possibility of the great white. They are found all over the world in temperate and tropical regions, where they have been known to dive as deep as 6,000 feet or over 1,800 meters. They are more typically found at depths of about 300 feet or 90 meters. These sharks have been observed moving to water as shallow as 100 feet or 30 meters during parts of the year in some locations. It is not yet known why they do this. Since they do venture into shallow water, fishermen are killing them for sport and food. Because of their low reproductive rate, they can easily be overfished. Has achieved them a near threatened status on the global list of endangered species. But because we know so little about their populations, many scientists believe they could be even in more danger of extinction. What do you guys think of today's topic, the six scale shark? I think they look quite cool, honestly. I do wish that some of these animals, like the six scale and things like that, that we knew more about. I wish that this was something that you know we weren't just killing these animals because I've said before and I will say again because of the fact that we need sharks to maintain the health of our oceans and the six gill is no exception the six gill shark as I've mentioned it does it is a carnivore you know it's like a regular shark it'll eat a lot of different things even though its relatives are different I think that this is something I hope that scientists can study more about. I feel like this animal is such a great species to read upon. 
And if this is an animal you really like, make sure you hit a like on today's video. I will be doing more videos of these in the future because I want to know more about some of these deep sea animals. I don't know what animal I'm going to be doing next, but keep a lookout for that video. And I will see you all next time. Bye!